head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause beauty is my name. What up beauty gang? So today I have a different type of video for you guys, as you can see, cause I'm up here. It's selfie mode, okay? I am in the gym at LA Fitness, and today I wanted to start this seven day challenge. Oh, before I hop into this, if you are new to Beauty Gang and you ain't never heard of us, girl, just, 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 you might as well join us. I mean, we're pretty hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check the comment section below, and you will see multiple Beauty Gang members vouch for the fact that we are hella stupid lit over here. So after you've done that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And without further ado, ladies, or honeys, Whoever's watching, let's hop into this. All right, y'all, so today's video has been inspired by this other YouTuber named Coco Chinello. She attempted this seven day challenge a while ago and she noticed results from it, so I'm like, hmm. So you're telling me that I can burn some fat? This is the video. The Coco Chinello took this Lucy woman's workout and did it for seven days, the seven day challenge. So I wanted to attempt it because I don't know how many of you guys know this. I haven't really touched on like body weight and stuff on my YouTube channel, but I have on my Instagram where I've gotten very personal and vulnerable in some posts about how my body has changed so much since I'm no longer an athlete and just trying to get adjusted to working out consistently and not having a coach or anybody on my ass about doing it. Like, it's just been a transition. I might make another video later, like thoroughly explaining my fitness journey thus far. But I wanted to see how this goes and maybe if you guys like this video and this challenge, then I'll keep doing them and we can start doing them together and holding each other accountable. You know, beauty gang, we just, we just operate like that over here. So today is January, oh shit. <laughs> today is Tuesday, April 30th. If I stick with this challenge the way I'm supposed to, my last day of doing this will be Tuesday next week, May, whatever that is. So we will see you guys. I'm excited and nervous and I hope you guys like it because I've never done a fitness video on here before. I've done track meets and stuff, but never a fitness video, especially post-athletes. So I'm gonna hop right into this, keep you guys up to date and stuff on how it goes throughout the week and yeah, let's hop into this. And my bad, y'all. I have to get used to looking at the camera here. I'm on Josh's iPhone, so I'm looking at myself on the camera when really I should be looking at y'all. My bad. All right, y'all, again, this is the video I'm gonna be following. I'll try to leave like a screen recording in this area while I'm doing the workout. And then hopefully you guys will either, is it weird y'all can't see my face when I'm talking to you? Hopefully you guys will either hear her through my phone as I follow it, or I'll just add a screen recording audio to this video as well, so y'all can know what the workout is. But, all right, I'm ready. This is a seven minute workout to melt off belly fat. So if you start marching on the spot so I can explain how it works, so it's part of the warm up as well. So you've got seven moves and you were doing them for seven minutes. And as a qualified trainer, I've put together a workout that I want you to do for seven days. If you stick to it, I promise you, you are gonna literally love the results. So how today's workout works is I've created seven moves and these are all multi-compound moves. And the great thing is, it's suits every fitness level so if you're a beginner you always follow the move on the left if you want more of a challenge you follow the move on the right we've literally got seven moves these are real ultimate calorie burning moves and the great thing is it is as i said suitable for everyone i'm going to do it with you in real time also at the end of the video i've created a chart for you so you can measure your progress so if you need longer to warm up hit the pause button if not we're going to get straight into today's workout so we've got a 15 second preview of the first move coming up. If you are a beginner, follow me on the left. If you want the harder version, you come down onto the ground, lying down, then you push yourself up, you come up to standing, and you go one knee lift, then the other, and then you take yourself straight back down. So let's go for 60 seconds. So choose your move. now. You're only doing these moves once today and you are doing it for a duration of 60 seconds. So if you're on the right, if you're doing the harder one, this is really tough. So you're knee lift, knee lift, then straight back down to the ground. Then you're coming up and then take that to that knee lift, knee lift. It is a good idea if you've got a mat or do that on a carpet at home. If you're a beginner following me on the left, you're gonna do a little squat, then you're gonna reach up tall and take all 
alternating knee lifts on there. So that's good. So we're halfway through, 30 seconds, keeping that going. Both these moves are really good for conditioning and strengthening through your abdominals. So how this workout works today, we are doing what I call cardio tone. So we're not doing things like planks or sit-ups because that's now not how we strip off belly fat. We have to do ultimate calorie burning to do that. And we're doing that by toning also with these moves. All right, and we've got last four seconds. Let's go three, two, and one. So you've got a 15 second breather. You can march on the spot and then just look at the new move coming up or you can go straight into it. So this one, if you want the harder version, you kick up high and then you're aiming to touch the ground and take the other leg behind. We're gonna do 30 seconds one leg, then switch to 30 the other. So kick it up high, jump it back, touch the ground. If you're a beginner or you don't want the high impact, literally just kick that leg up and then step the opposite one behind, that's good. So keeping that going. At the 30 second point, we're gonna change. And the beauty of this workout, you can do it with your friends, doesn't matter what fitness level you're at, this suits everyone. All right, that's good, let's keep that going. Not long now on that leg. This one is a toughie, today's workout is super hard. We've got three, let's go two and one. Let's now just change legs, so you're gonna kick forward with the other leg and step back. And if you do want full support, support sorry, then do go and join our amazing Facebook group. It is just full of really positive people helping each other on their health, fitness, and lifestyle journey. So that's um, Facebook Lucy Squad. All right, keep that going. You've got last 10 seconds now. Kick that leg high if you're doing it on the right. Keep that focused. And let's go five. Take it four. Go three, two, and one. Okay, so move number three. This time now, we're gonna do two knee lifts and then you do two side leg lifts. And obviously this one is really hard on balance. If you're following on the left, I just want you to do one of each and don't take the leg as high. So we do two knee pull downs and then two leg lifts. Keep it on the same leg. So this really works your balance as well as working the abdominals. Halfway through, we're gonna change, take that to the opposite leg. So the benefit here is we're still keeping that heart rate up so we're increasing your metabolism which just means then we're helping burn off excess body fat but we're also toning and strengthening through your abs at the same time doing really well let's keep going that's good and this one's really good for your coordination and balance all right let's change take that to the other side now so if you're following on the right remember that is the harder variation it's two knees and then two legs out to the side two knee pull downs and then two leg lifts out to the side if you're following on the left then we're just doing one of each tap it out knee in and always keep those abdominals tight you're doing really well and we've just got the last five seconds coming up now so let's go five take it four three two and one all right so we are now on the next move coming up now this one is super tough but we are going to do 10 plie cross jumps then you're going to hold it low if you want to do the harder one and do 10 pulses if you want to follow on the left just do 10 full plie squats and then you're going to pulse it so if you're following on the right try and land softly i said this really tough but just think you're only doing this move once so count yourself once you've done 10 hold it and take it to 10 pulses so you're then pulsing that for 10 once you've done your 10 pulses take it straight back to that crossover plie jump if you're following me on the left then just bring it back to that full range so you're going all the way up and down and if you are on instagram if you're not already then definitely come and follow me for daily motivation and just let me know how you're getting on and you can message me and also post up on instagram if you're doing this workout if you're taking on that challenge all right that's good keeping that going you've got now less than 15 seconds to go we are flying through this workout you are going to feel amazing think of the benefits we are going to get incredible results okay that's good let's go last five let's go four take it three two and one all right so your next move coming up this time now we are doing two star jumps and then two knee lifts all right if you're pulling on the left literally take one arm out to the side then the other and the same leg on each side then two knee lifts as well so let's get ready come into position so you've got your two star jumps two knees up on there so this one here is what i call plyometric moves so we are really increasing that heart rate and because we're doing that we're increasing your calorie burn and it's the same on the left here the people that are following on the left it's still a challenging workout all right but it is just you're not doing any of the jumping on there 
that's good so let's keep that going and let's look at the bigger picture here we are actually now you and i are both investing in your health and i keep doing these seven minute belly workouts because i've just had the most incredible results the first one i launched last year has had already over 33 million views and just the most amazing results so you can always do that one on top of this one all right that's good so let's just keep that going you've got the last 10 seconds coming up now feel that challenge remember this is where you are getting fitter and stronger exercise is medicine never ever forget that four let's go three take it two and one amazing so we have just got two moves left so this next one is we stand up jump down jump the feet out come back up and then jump straight back down. So again, if you're following on the left, you are just gonna do a tiny little squat, come up and step the foot back, opposite foot back. So 60 seconds, choose your move. So you've got the low impact on the left or the harder one on the right. That's good, so we jump down, jump the feet out, come back up and then straight back down. That's good and then step it back. So a lot of people think if they wanna lose belly fat, they spend like a minute or two minutes doing the plank, doing floor sit-ups, but actually the best way to do it is by doing these standing exercises. And also the other thing that's so important if you're looking to strip belly fat is nutrition. That is key, that's why I do advise if you're doing this challenge, it's so important to look at healthy eating. Avoid processed food, don't stuff with sugar, She wasn't a joke. Y'all saw from my actual workout. There was times that your girl had to slow down. Honestly, too. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all can't talk. I'm trying to slow down my heart rate. But I've been out of the gym for like two weeks and a day. I was consistent, and then things start happening in life again, and I got inconsistent, so I have my first day back to the gym after two weeks and I um, did 10 minutes on the treadmill before this workout <sighs> even though I feel like you can probably just do this workout every day and be good I still just want to incorporate cardio for like endurance reasons and then cardio also helps burn fat as well so I'll probably still keep doing 10 minutes on the tread or like on the stair stepper and then do this workout for the week but I keep doing that. I can definitely see how that'll help burn some fat and stuff. So I'm gonna measure myself when I get home, measure my waist and stuff, like she said, to keep track of that. 
and take pictures to keep track of that so that I didn't just do this workout in vain and for no reason. So yeah, y'all, I guess I will see you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do it every single day, like film it every day. I'm gonna do the workout every day. But like maybe I'll do odd numbers, so maybe I'll see y'all day three. I don't know, I'll figure something out. But see y'all when I see y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm looking rough, so you're not gonna see my face, but it's the next morning and I'm having Josh measure my waist because I didn't do it yesterday. Did I have to take this down? How do you know what, where to like measure the waist exactly? I got the button. Oh, really? Yeah. I never knew that. That's how you do it or everybody? Belly button for you, because that's for your target area of concern is. All right, so when you don't have a ruler or a tape measure that can wrap around you properly, because this snaps, you just go and get yourself one of these bad boys, shoestring. shoestring, anything like that, wrap it around the waist, mark where it's at. Where the belly button is. Right around the belly button. And then you measure it out. Keep going. Okay. You're sitting at... 31? 31 and a half. My waist. Yep. So right now, y'all, my waist is at 31 and a half on Wednesday. I feel like we're like them cartoon network characters that the head is cut off. Yeah, they don't touch my <laughs> What up, you guys? So it is day two. I know I said I might not do day two, but I got hydrated hero in the gym with me today well in this room he was already working out but i wanted him to do this workout with me because y'all saw i kind of struggled a little bit yesterday and i want to see if he'll be any good at it so y'all see i'm already sweating yeah, he this just has nothing basketball. to do with this workout yes it is bae if you can't do it you can't do it oh, so what? i want them to know this ain't coming from the workout okay we're about to work out we're going to do the same exact seven minute seven day challenge that I did yesterday. I did 15 minutes on the stair stepper. He did two games of basketball. So some cardio, Three. whatever. So we're about to get it in y'all. We wish us luck. Um, I'm pretty tired. Uh, this is a lot for him, y'all. Yeah, it did get me burning, and like, y'all gotta take it from the perspective that I work out religiously daily, and I'm tired. So I know she working overtime right now. So it's actually really good, and depending on how hard you push yourself, yeah. you'll get some I good results. Push a harder. Yeah. <sighs> it's just when you feel that burn, that's the time you gotta like kick Go it up. That's when you go for it, because that's where you get the gains. When you're going through that pain, and you want to slow down, uh -huh. that was your body saying, now I'm making gains. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And that's just like life. When stuff gets tough, that's when you get better. Word to the wise, hydrate here, drink more water. I'm about to go play some more basketball. Oh my gosh. Thank you, man, for doing that with me. No problem. So that was day two, y'all. I probably, huh? No, I'm about to come in there with you. I'm done. 
I probably won't record day three, but I'll do it. I don't know when I'm gonna see y'all again, but I'll keep doing it. Check in, I don't know when, but I'll be checking in in the next clip for y'all. Excuse my appearance, y'all. I just wanna check in with you guys. I started this seven day challenge Tuesday. Today is Friday, and I didn't go to the gym today because Josh had to work in the morning, but I did not let that stop me in the past. I, I, I kid you not, like, I'm really doing this for Beauty Gang because it's like, y'all are holding me accountable without y'all having to actually tell me everything. I look rough, y'all. Don't worry, I'm doing my hair today. But as you can see, I am sweating. My back, I don't know if y'all can see a drip or not. I am like sweating, sweating. So today, I wasn't able to do like um, treadmill or stair stepper to get that like 10 to 15 minutes in before the workout, but either way, I still did it. She didn't even say that I needed to do that in the video. That's just something I wanted to do to kind of add a little bit of uh, fire to burning fat, but yeah, what is today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day four. Today's day four, y'all. Got three days left. I got this. And today was a little bit easier, and I'm wondering is it because I didn't have cardio before it? But either way, I did it. I'm so proud of myself, y'all. Y'all don't know, it is so hard for me to have motivation to work out and especially do it at home. Stay focused, stay focused. All right, gotta get to my hair. All right, y'all. So, I'm out of breath. I don't know if you guys can see the sweat a little bit. But I just finished my day six workout with my mom, actually. I got her on to doing this with me. She does the beginner level while I do the intermediate or challenge level, whatever. She did it with me yesterday, so she did day five and day six with me. I have one more day tomorrow. I'm gonna try to record that for you guys, I guess just so you guys can see the progress from when I did it day one compared to when I do it day seven. And then I'm thinking on day eight, which isn't a part of the challenge, when I wake up, then I'll measure myself. Because there'd be no point in measuring myself tomorrow, which is day seven, when I have one more time to go through the workout, so. Yeah, just want to check in with you guys to make sure y'all know I'm doing it. I've been consistent. This is the most consistent I've ever been when it comes to workouts. And I feel like it's because I challenged myself to do the challenge, but also do the challenge for y'all so y'all can see. So, you know, like, it's like you guys are my accountability partners. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's like maybe nine in the morning on Sunday. I feel good. I'm about to get my day started, edit some content, maybe shoot some content. I just feel... Like I can accomplish anything today. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Day seven, almost done. <laughs> oh, and I always forget to show y'all my back. Hopefully y'all can see that. My back is sweaty, boy. Yes. All right. All right, you guys. So today is my day seven, and I'm with my mom. She's on day three. This is about to be day three for you. So I told you guys she had joined me two days ago, but this is the first time I'm going to be recording both of us doing this, but this is my last day. So we're going to hop into today's workout. Again, it's the seven minute workout, melt off belly fat in just seven days. We'll see because I'll be measuring myself tomorrow. We'll have Josh measure my waist tomorrow to see if I trimmed any belly fat around my waist area. But all right, y'all, I'll speed this up too because you guys saw day one, so you saw the full thing. I just wanted you guys to see that me and my mom are doing this together. Hey. All right, you never measured me. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> it is, as I said, so you spoke mom, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it with you in real I know, I'm trying to master also, those video, positions since so this is your last you day. I had to do this progress. on my own. So if you need longer to warm up, mm.
Definitely works up a sweat, man. She's still talking. This is what I deal with on the regular. But y'all don't understand how proud of myself I am. Like, I attempted this one other time, but I only did one day. Like, and I made the excuse, well, Josh had to work early so we couldn't go to the gym. When he got back later, I was filming or editing. Really, it was just making up excuses after excuses. So this was like really big for me because I decided to stick with it regardless of like my circumstances and stuff and I think that's a mentality that's hard for a lot of people to achieve including myself obviously but the fact that I have now I have no excuse for not being consistent in other challenges like if it's another seven day challenge I can't say like oh I don't it's not an unknown factor anymore if I can make it or not you know so yeah unfortunately though the last what four days I think I didn't get in the gym, so I wasn't able to do my treadmill or cardio workout like I wanted to before this workout. I'm still sweating, obviously, but I just, I wanted to burn more, like, calories and fat, and by doing, like, a warm-up on the stair stepper or treadmill before this workout. But, at the same time, I don't know if that would have messed up the measurements of this seven day challenge because she didn't say to do any cardio or whatever before the workout you're supposed to strictly just do the seven minute workout for seven days so if what she said is true in the workout i should see some type of result tomorrow i will also say though if it is screw skewed it's because i haven't been eating the best i haven't been eating the most healthy i'll be 100 not that i'm eating fast food and stuff consistently but I just haven't been making the most healthy choices, so we will see tomorrow what my measurements are looking like if I lost any fat around my waistline at all or whatever. I'm not really sure based off what I see visually in the mirror if I lost any weight at all or any fat around my waist, but we will see. Show you guys my sweat. I don't know if you guys can see that on my back. Oh yeah, you can. All that sweat. Obviously you can see I'm sweating all up in here, my face and stuff. Yeah, so I'm about to hop in the shower and get my day kicked off. I think it's like 9, 9 a.m. right now. I'm really enjoying, by the way, waking up earlier. Your girl used to be the type to wake up at like 11 noon or whatever and then start my day, but I get so much more accomplished now. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm transitioning into something new in my life right now in a positive light, like waking up earlier, being more productive, working out, working on my health and stuff. So, I think I want to take you guys on that journey with me. So, yeah, I'm acting like this is a closing video type of speech. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow and have Josh measure me. And we will see my results. But all right, y'all. See y'all then. All right, you guys. We're doing that head cut off thing again. But today is day eight. Yesterday was my last day of this little seven-day challenge. So Josh is going to measure me the same exact way he did on day two, which was I was 31.5 around the waist. I don't know visually, I can't really tell if I changed much, but we'll see. Let's go. So I got an inch and a half. Do you believe it? Our diet, if our I haven't diet, been eating the best either. Yeah, I feel like if our diet changed, you would really trim it off. Like, More? Yeah. That's still decent though for a week. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a sec. Right Alrighty, y'all. So never fully got the chance to verbally 
discuss my results, how I felt about the seven day, seven minute challenge that I did. The first one I ever did. I think overall it was really dope. I like that I proved to myself that I can do this shit, okay? But some things that have to, had to do with my results, so I guess I burned off or whatever um, an inch and a half off my waist. Now, crazy thing is, it was either that day or the day after that, I ended up starting my period, which I did not know was gonna happen. And I don't know about some of you guys, but for me, my body for sure, when it comes to going through my cycle, usually a week prior to me having my actual period, it's starting, I get bloated and stuff, just like my body is a little different. So that honestly might have played a role in why it didn't seem like I burned off as much. I mean, an inch and a half is still dope, but I feel like I could have probably burned off more or my stomach would have looked better had my body not been in the process of preparing for my period to start. So that was one thing. The other thing, oh, did not eat as good as I should have. Like, I would have preferred to eat pretty much clean for that week, and I feel like I would have saw better results in that sense also. But like, yeah, still the fact that, one, I was about to start my period, and so I was bloating, and then two, I wasn't eating as great as I could have played factors in that, yet I still lost an inch and a half around my waist, so that was really dope. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try another one of her workouts, especially if you guys like it. I'm gonna keep like doing these different little fitness videos, and hopefully they're inspiring to you guys as well to just go out there and you know like she had said in one of her videos fitness and exercise contributes to your health like it's for health reasons so even if you're not really going for like a body goal or anything like that it's just good to do and I noticed that especially when I was doing it since I was doing it in the morning I felt so much better during the day like my mind was ready to go like it was dope so this is like my final opinion and stuff of the seven day seven challenge I definitely enjoyed it gonna start actually another one today I'm at LA Fitness right now but I was like mm, let me just go ahead and close this video because I've been taking forever to do it so yeah if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and comment below if you'd like more maybe just comment hashtag more fitness challenges and i'll definitely be sure to bring you guys more of those and yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new beauty gang is clearly lit we lit with the hair we lit with the fitness and body goals we just lit okay and until next time guys bye Move your body cause you're loving the way that you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you're confident Clap two times cause you're on me Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on a day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause beauty is your name